Yo, this is Jay from Straight Smoke Gaming, and in today's video, we are bringing you an NFL offseason video. Uh, as you guys know, the draft just ended a couple days ago. Uh, the last round actually was done on Sunday, and you know, as every draft, you're going to come out with winners and losers. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you my five winners of the draft and my five losers of the draft. I mean, if your team is not in here, that is probably a good sign. That means you guys had a uh, pretty normal draft. You weren't winners, you weren't losers. But let's go ahead and get start. So first, you got the Philadelphia Eagles. I mean, Eagles, another good draft. That's two good drafts in a row. Snagging Jalen Carter at nine is going to be good. My opinion, best defense player in the draft. Next up, they took Nolan Smith at 30, one of the most upside players uh, on this, on the out of everyone in the draft. His speed is crazy. I think it's going to work out well for them. And be able to snag Keely Ringo in the fourth, also another good one to be able to learn behind Darius Slay. I think this is going to work out very well for the Eagles. Next up, second, we got the Pittsburgh Steelers with a very good draft. You know, they wanted Jerry Porter. They wanted to take him at one, but they held off and they'd made the better pick in taking Broderick Jones, getting another guy to protect uh, Kenny Pickett. I think that was a smart move. And you still were able to get your guy and Joey Porter in the second round. And even then, in the third round, you were able to snag Darnell Washington, my opinion, one of the better tight ends in the draft, maybe the best tight end in the draft. So really good draft for the Steelers here. They drafted to their needs and they were able to come out on top. So third, we got the Houston Texans and the Texans, they made day one very crazy. Uh, be able to sit, get CJ Stroud too, and then trade back up to get Will Anderson. Absolutely crazy. I did not see that coming. And you know, very good moves here. You know, now your offense has a quarterback and now your defense has an identity. I mean, Will Anderson is your piece you're building around. Same with CJ Stroud. And to be able to get Ju Juice Scruggs in the second and Tank Dell in the third, very good value picks. I think that will pan out well for them. So next up, fourth, we got the Indianapolis Colts. And the Colts, they did have a fair amount of picks here, but the main reason they are here is because they made the right pick. They got their franchise guy in Anthony Richardson. There was talks about them taking... Um, Will Levis, I'm glad they didn't. I do not like Will Levis. I think he is a bust. Anthony Richardson's a high upside guy. Um, if it works out, easily best quarterback out of everyone in the draft. And to be able to get Josh Downs in the third is also another good add. I personally had Josh Downs going in the second, and they got him in the third. Next up, fifth, we got the New York Giants. The Giants had a sneaky good draft here, taking Dante Banks. Uh, he, in my opinion, is one of the better corners. I do think he will do very well for them and be able to get John Michael Schmitz in the second. He's a plug and play from day one on that uh, offensive line. The offensive line is not the best in New York. And then to get a wide receiver like Jalen Hyatt, I think that will work out very well for them. Now Daniel Jones has a pretty good weapon that I think will turn out to be a good weapon. Maybe not from the start, but it will. So next up to the losers, we got the Detroit Lions and the Lions are mainly here. It's because of the positional value. I mean, Overall, they did not do bad after the first round, but the first round, they just made a couple picks where it's like, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, realistically, if your idea was to take Jack Campbell in the first, you could have traded back and got him. If you wanted Jameer Gibbs, you probably could have traded back. Um, I don't know. I was hearing the um, GM say that they couldn't trade back and get him, but I know for a fact you could have traded back and still got Campbell. So next up, second, we got the New York Jets. And you know, they really did not have a good draft. I mean, outside of their second round pick, Joe Tipman, he's going to be good. Uh, he helps that offensive line protect Aaron Rodgers. But that first round pick, I really didn't get it. Will McDonald, he wasn't even the best edge that was available. So I kind of feel like this was a little bit of a panic pick. Uh, maybe someone got taken that they wanted a couple picks before and they had no clues. So they just drafted a guy. I mean, I don't know. I don't think that was a good move, but hey, maybe I'm wrong third we got the Washington Commanders the Commanders very similar to um what the uh Giants did or the Jets did they took a corner in the first but the better corner went after um they took Emmanuel Forbes don't be wrong not a bad corner but Christian Gonzalez was still there on the board I just don't get it Jatavius Martin was a good second round pick so that does help it out a little bit but you know you got. I would have took Gonzalez there. I feel like that's what a lot of teams would have did. Fourth, we got the Green Bay Packers, and the Packers, um, like the the like the Colts, they did have a lot of picks, so this might be a good draft class. But it's just a matter of the fact that 
Jordan Love is your now your starting quarterback. He does not have much starting experience. Go and get him a wide receiver that he can work with from day one. I mean, they took Lucas Van Ness. Not a bad pick. He's going to be pretty good defensively, I think. But I would my personal pick would have been JSN. Get him a guy that he can help uh, develop him and all that. They can develop together. Fifth, we got the Atlanta Falcons. Falcons overall, not a bad draft. I mean, Bijan, he's a dog. He's going to be good. And, you know, in the second round, they went and got offensive line help. But it's a matter of the Bijan pick is a pick you make if you do not have a lot of holes. And when you're looking at the Atlanta Falcons team, they have a lot of holes on their team. I mean, outside of Drake London, they really don't have a wide receiver too. Like, I, I just don't get it. Bijan's going to be good, but you don't make that pick if you're not a contender. And they are definitely not a contender. So that's all we got um, when it comes to that stuff. Overall, let's talk about the draft for a minute. It was very crazy night one. Uh, my personal mock draft did not go well. I missed a lot of picks. But hey, what are you going to expect when you got a team that's drafting two and trades back into the first round to take the next guy too, um, like the Texans did? So overall, very crazy draft. This is one of the more fun drafts that I've did, um, that, that I've like mocked and all that. I had a lot of fun with this year's draft. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys think. If you guys enjoy, please want to like and sub for more Madden, GTA, and Red Dead content, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.